got the full size spare in the Outback Limited wagon. It's one of the first updates did when we got the car earlier this year. Um, got a used rim and then just a matching tire. It's already been rotated off, so this one's a bit dirty. Uh, of course, got rid of the donut and then the tool tray that fits over the donut. There's still a ton of room in here to organize everything. And all the tools I need fit, fit in here quite nicely. Uh, it does work with the original, this is used to secure the donut down. I actually had it off for, for uh, you know, a few hundred miles because you know, it does stick up and I thought, well, it sort of gets in the way. But I found that potholes or big bumps, speed bumps, you know, the, the wheels kind of coming up and, and making a noise. So I got rid of that. Uh, how I fit everything, I got just big old tool roll. That's going to fit back there. Um, I've just got, you know, it's like an old peanut container, but this is basically all the stuff for uh, tire plugs and rubber cement and tools to uh, to fix anything out in the field. Um, I've got basically, uh, this here is an uh, air pump. And i got a toe strap, a couple of rags. Bungee cord, that stuff all's happy living over there. In this bag here, I've got just a full size power converter. That fits nicely there. It's kind of jumper cables. I don't have to smash stuff down too much. Um, first, I was using a backpack for the, the jack and those tools, but I found I switched to an old messenger ba bag I had. I find it kind of fits better, but got the factory jack, got lug wrench, uh, got a little army surplus holding pick digger. Um, can fit tools in here. I haven't really put too much in there, but basically a tow hook and then this adjusts the uh, crossbars. But these other pockets could fit a lot more there. Of course, um, at this point, everything's going to fit nicely. Uh, I find the wood that you know is of the cover. It's pretty strong and sturdy. I haven't felt like it flexes. Um, the tray that goes in here probably supports it a little better. Um, also, you can store the, you know, the privacy slider here. It doesn't really fit well, but usually I leave it in the car, or if I go on a road trip, I leave it at home if I don't need it. But I do a lot of uh, camping in the car, and I find what actually kind of gives it the most support is just these RV uh, leveling blocks. I can fit eight of them here. And then everything's going to have nice support. You know, if, you, if I put in a bunch of cinder blocks from Home Depot or something, that's really going to push the board down. I think this all is going to support it quite nicely. And you can see that fits quite flush. And there's a ton of room where I could add, you know, quite a few more tools. Um, I've got those other spaces there, and you know, it's just little, littler things, but basically, great upgrade. Glad to be able to road trip with a full size spare, have it available, plus retain all the storage. Obviously, if you're going to have to change a tire out on a road trip, it's a hassle to remove all this thing, but certainly way better than the hassle of not having a full size spare when you really need one.